Hi, I'm Joel with HM Precision Painting. One of the most common problems we see whenever we're given exterior painting quotes is peeling paint. And so in this video, I just wanna address a couple reasons why your paint might be peeling and a couple things you can actually do to prep those areas and prevent any damage from occurring to your siding or to your trim. So there are a couple reasons why your paint might be peeling. And the first is, and the most common one, is moisture. And so what happens is during the winter time, snow will build up at the bottoms of your siding, your trim boards, and, uh, and it'll pile up there and pull the paint off of the house. And even during the springtime when you get a lot of rain, it'll pull that paint off of the wood trim, especially those lower areas like I mentioned. And so that's gonna be your first and most common type of reason why you get peeling paint. The second is using improper types of paint. So whether you use interior paint, a very low quality exterior paint, or maybe even a water-based primer which doesn't really repel water as good as an oil-based primer that you know the two don't mix. Uh, that may, might be another reason why your paint might be peeling. And the third factor is improper prep work. So if you painted your house and you didn't take the time to scrape, sand, and prime those areas, or you know the painter didn't use something high quality or, or didn't prime it or sand it before, that's going to be another reason why your paint peels prematurely and why your paint job, you might be even getting peeling paint one or two years after you painted your house. Yes, you can leave your paint peeling. I wouldn't recommend it and the reason why is you can start getting that moisture to actually get into the wood and start to rot those boards. And once those boards are rotten, you can even get the water into the framing and behind those trim boards or the siding. And then it becomes very expensive to fix. And that's why you recommend to take care of those areas so that way you prevent from the problem getting worse and getting more expensive. Like I mentioned, peeling paint usually occurs at the bottom areas wherever the snow or the rain actually settles. And so you can actually see here, we got some peeling paint here on the garage trim. And so the proper prep work to do here is to first of all, you wanna take a five and one and actually scrape that loose paint off. And just, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna show you just a little bit. So you're gonna just basically take the five and one and, and pull all the paint off as much as you can of it. Then after that, what you wanna do is take a sanding sponge. And so it can be 150 grit, that's the best one if it's gonna be sanding paper, or you can get a medium grit sanding sponge. And then you just wanna roughen up that wood. And the reason why you wanna sand that area is because the water makes it smooth and that actually doesn't make the primer adhere too well so what you want to do is actually roughen it up so that primer really adheres well to the wood and it's really locked in and then afterwards you would take your primer coat and then put that primer on all that area that is peeling we recommend an oil-based primer something that's high quality and i'll actually put a, a, a picture of the, of the actual primer that we recommend from sherman williams here in the video and that's an oil-based primer so again it repels water because oil and water don't mix um, otherwise, if you use a water-based primer, I really can't guarantee that the job lasts you as long, but it's definitely worth the money investing in a good oil-based primer. And then afterwards, you want to top coat it with whatever exterior paint of your choice. And if you go to Sherwin-Williams or any paint store, they can kind of bring through the different types of exterior paint that they offer. And the higher quality is going to have more resin and more hardener in it, so it actually will last longer, even itself prevent peeling. Uh, just because it's a harder paint and it won't peel as as easily so that's what we recommend for any areas that are peeling like this and you want to kind of inspect your whole house and just do a walk around your house and take a look at your the bottoms of your door trims the your window sills look at your window frames your, your door frames um, and your siding just the bottom and take a look at any of those areas if they're peeling the proper primer is to scrape then sand and use your primer coat and then on top of that, top coat it with any extra paint of your choice. I hope you found this video helpful. I always recommend customers to walk around their house after the winter and springtime because that's really when you spot the peeling paint starting to occur and you can get it taken care of early. And if you're looking for a free quote on, on your exterior, I'll put information down below. You can either give us a call or put your information in on our form on our website. And we'll come out and give you different options on, on your exterior painting and take a look at any problems that could be occurring on your home. So hope you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next video.